Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Italy. In the last episode we have been taking things fairly easy, just um, defending the Ottomans from other people trying to take them out of our sphere. We have Russia kicked down to neutral. And also in the last episode, Spain dropped out of the Great Power standing, so they no longer have the Confederation of Namaqualand in their sphere. Which means that once our ban expires here in a couple of months, we can probably quite easily get them up and sphered. It'll give us access to all of their orgios. Makes me feel a little better about sort of losing out more than I would have liked in the colonial race down here to Spain. We have an international crisis in Transdanubia. Yeah, we will assert our position. So, North German Federation is backing Hungary. Austria is obviously backing themselves. France wants to support Austria. UK is undecided. Russia wants to support Austria. We want to support whoever we decide is most advantageous. Okay, France has gone in. First tractor in Akoya. Very nice. Ah, UK is strongly inclined to go in on Germany's side now. And we have a large communist revolt. Okay. Not actually that large. Quite a lot down here in Africa, which is a little worrying. 39. 36 over here is a little problematic. Uh, let's actually merge these regiments or brigades. And in fact just set this as a rally point, which... I thought I had a rally point over in this area, but I guess I don't. Uh, that's in Egypt as well. You can just go on rebel suppression and take care of them. I'm a little worried about the ability of this army to take care of these rebels, but we'll let them try. You can probably deal with this little stack. And you are already on rebel suppression up here. If we may, if we have to transport another army down to deal with the larger stacks down here, we will. We'll see how the existing army deals with it, though. The destiny of Hungary. The fate of the Hungarian people has become a major international crisis recently. While Austria currently controls the area, Hungarian rebels and patriots are making a major effort to free themselves from Austrian rule. As a great power, we have of course sent an ambassador to discuss the fate of Hungary. Unfortunately, he appeared at the latest summit meeting more drunk than usual and proclaimed that we were prepared, prepared to settle the issue, giving all other participants a sound thrashing if they didn't follow our lead. Right, well, we're going to, I guess, escalate the crisis a little bit because of this. So that's fine. So let's see, Russia is still going to go in on Austria's side, so if we went on Germany and the UK's side, we'd be fighting France, Austria, and Russia, most likely, and the Netherlands. And we did manage to pretty successfully fight France and Russia as uh, in the previous war with, in our alliance with Germany, so I'm pretty sure that adding Austria to the equation on the enemy side and UK to the equation on our side will mean that we can probably win that war as well. So I think we should be just fine to go in on Germany's side here. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully we can get these rebels dealt with before any wars break out. This army is indeed having trouble, so let's find our transports wherever I put them. Okay, over here. And let's see, we'll pick up an army from here. And transport it down. So 
we lost an occupation down here. Not too surprisingly. I'm gonna actually lose a battle. Okay, you've taken care of all the rebels in this area. Probably are gonna head over here. Okay, that is all the rebels on our mainland taken care of. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Brazil has gone bankrupt, okay. The Netherlands has gone in on Austria's side, so we'll see if there's going to be a peace here. See, there was a war goal added here. Acquire Bohemia from Germany. So I think this one is almost definitely going to war in that case. Let's get this army. See, that is just artillery and cavalry. Um, let me just take out nine brigades here. Arguably, we should build more transports, but. That would take too long. Okay, we'll get you transported down here. We are going to lose this battle. We do have reinforcements on the way from up here as well, so... Between them and the troops we're transporting down, I think we should be okay. do actually stay there. Bastar has gone bankrupt. Not really a concern. And let's put our spending on land units up, both in preparation for the possible war that's about to break out and also to help our units fight these rebels more effectively. taking care of business up here. I'm gonna battle. You can try to fight this army before they finish that occupation, please. We will pressure the local government to stop the beer hole opening. We won this battle. You are... Well reinforced, but pretty low on morale, so I think we'll leave you alone for the moment. And I'll just put this army on Hunt Rebels and let it take care of the rest by itself, which should be okay. So this definitely does seem to be going to war. I will spend 29,000 on that, that's okay. I suppose we should move troops into position. Some on the Austrian border, but mostly on the French border. The stack actually has a reasonable composition. You can go there. Just go join up with that. Hey, we can intervene immediately here and get more farming efficiency. We're losing a few occupations down here, but I think we've basically turned the tide. I think our ban is probably expired in here now. 
So we are influencing again. Everyone else is neutral. We can just go straight up to friendly. Mayday Parade. The red banners flutter before the winds and people of all ages come out to watch as socialists, communists, union members and workers of all ages come together in a protest march all across the country commemorating the deaths of several demonstrators at the Chicago Haymarket, Haymarket Massacre in 1886. So we'll just have socialists in Zanzibar gain consciousness. Be fine. And the destiny of Hungary. So we're going to have to rattle our sabers again. It looks like it was going to war no matter what we did, so not really a big deal. Let's get up to friendly here and didn't have any trouble getting to 100 and sphering them. So about 10 days till war. Uh, we're taking attrition here, which I didn't realize. I think we'll just leave those armies there, though, and advance into France quickly. So let's just make sure I haven't ignored any rebel armies in any places that they're going to cause problems. They're all down here in this area, and we have our armies on hunt rebels. Should be able to take care of what's left there. Okay. Seems the field of battle will decide who's right. Well, let's see if we can get in very quickly and take out this French army. This three attack general is pretty good there. And we'll advance you into here and actually you just come down into Turin where you probably won't be taking any attrition. Just be a bit cautious in case there are any large French armies lurking nearby. Less concerned, I think, about the Austrians, so we'll advance into there. Send these troops up to, I guess, rendezvous with one of these stacks. And we have a large French army invading Tunis here, so this army is probably in some danger. We'll see if we can just have it run away down there. So this battle is going pretty well. More occupations down here. We actually have enough troops in the area that we might be able to take care of this army, but we'll let them go ahead and take care of the rebels first. Also being occupied down here, okay. So that's that battle won. You are retreating to here. Um, we have you go there and just follow with this army. The occupations in our colonial lands aren't going to be worth too much. We will give the UK access, that's fine. And yeah, we won a battle up here, apparently. I imagine that was mobilized troops. We won that battle, killed another 7,000. Just follow from here. No sign of any other French armies in this area yet. They seem to be concentrating on Germany and the UK, which is fine by me. We can probably get quite a few occupations done over here. You see a small Austrian army, but they are probably also occupied with Germany. Um, let's check on our rebels. Taking back a few more occupations here, and then a few more small armies to clean up, and we can turn our attention to this French army. Finished an occupation down here in Austria. Let's take care of this army. Eight 
more occupations down there. Not really a concern. See if we can finally take out this army completely. We are going to catch it there. And we beat this Austrian army, which is as expected. If you advance over to here. And we are being occupied here by a small French army. We'll be able to divert some troops to take care of this. There are some reinforcements on the way. Okay, we beat this army in another battle, but still haven't wiped it out. Let's follow it one more time, I think, and come back. Okay, so we won that battle. There's still a 21 stack there, but seems to be retreating. Okay, so how is this war going overall? Pretty well for our side, plus 28 war score, mostly from battles. Our actual war goal, it seems, is going to require about 100% war score, so we're a bit far off from that, at least this, at this point. So, the UK has landed troops in France, that is a good sign. Germany and Russia, no major push in either direction it looks like so far. Still pretty evenly matched here on the Austrian border as well. We could potentially send some troops up there to take out some of these Austrian armies, but I think we'd rather just focus on occupations for the moment. You advance to here, you can advance down to here. And you go here and you just actually stay where you are. We did finally wipe out that army. Ah, and we're being attacked down here. As I can't pay attention to everything at once. Let's see, this army is on the way down there. You stop hunting rebels, please, and in fact, why don't both of you head to here for the moment. Fortunately, we have one more rebel army over there, which we might just have to ignore. Maybe try and retreat from this battle, since it seems to be going poorly. Yeah, we're not winning this one, so let's retreat. And then merge these two armies together, which should give us enough to take on the French army down here. So we finished our research. We are being occupied here, that's fine. Over here, that's also fine. And we won the occupation of Zagreb. Hey, a few more Austrian armies appearing over here. See if we can take care of some of them. No sign of any French armies here, so we can continue with our occupations. Okay, 43 troops. Let's see if we can take care of this 23 stack. No, please stop hunting rebels for the moment. In fact, we can probably spare this army to head over here and take care of these rebels. There's a British army over here as well, which could help us out.
Okay, we're being occupied there as well. This battle seems to be going just fine. We need to start another research going. Get functionalism, I guess. And we won this battle with the Austrian troops. So yeah, do just continue to there, I think. Germany also has troops in Austria here, which is good. Here is a French army, which is marching on my troops here, so we can just let that happen and reinforce. We will take this alliance from the Austri- or not the Austrians, the Ottomans. You get in there and help out. We won this battle, let's follow the army to here and hopefully wipe it out and then come back here to take back some of those occupations. You're heading to take care of the rebels, that's fine. We're ignoring this. And this battle is probably going to be okay. Okay, well we're out of time for this episode, so we're going to have to continue this war next time. Thanks for watching, and join me again then.